Hello everybody and welcome back to Medieval Engineers. I'm loving this music, it's great. I, I haven't really listened to the soundtrack much yet because it hasn't been playing for some reason when I've been building it, but I'm tearing it now, it's like awesome. Um, so today we're here at this castle, ta-da, um, and we're going to trash it with some catapults. Um, I've reduced my like um, rendering window and stuff in this, so it should, it should run more smoothly today. Um, although I did try loading this massive Sky City someone made and it completely crashed my game. It is early alpha, I'm sure they improved the optimization and stuff. It's making my fans well like crazy as well. It's like, must cool down. I love this, um, this like, windmill though. I wonder how this even works. There must be some like, mechanism inside this. I'm gonna have a quick look actually before we make the catapult. Where even? Let's have a look. I'm, I'm very curious. How do I get in? I want in. There we go. Let's get out of flying mode. Where on earth is this, uh, you go up here like this into the ramparts. Oh no, that's not the tower. Where is the the mechanism? Is it inside this thing? Oh, they've hidden it away. I want to see how the turbine works. Oh well. Anyway, well, we're going to crush this castle, so I'm sure we'll find out. There's like the, I know there's turning cogs and stuff you can put in it. Oh, they've, they've hidden it all inside this metal thing, not metal thing, um, stone. But anyway, I've been practicing making catapults because you know they're awesome fun. Um, I've made one. Uh, I haven't tried it with structural integrity turned on yet. Not sure if it'll work too well, but we can try. We can try. So let's put this thing down that I've made. So I um, hit F10 to get into my blueprints. I can see all the different stages of it. So I've got like the platform getting a bit bigger, getting a bit bigger, all different bits of it. So this is the one I want actually. Um, okay. And then Control V and I can paste it in. Ha ha! Look at this son of a bitch. Um, so if I hit J, I can actually make it like rotate it around in the world and put it exactly where I want. Um, so let's put it there. Oh, oh, the wheels are in the ground. That was accidental. There we go. Look at it. It's beautiful. So let's just align this forward a bit. Yeah, there's a bit of just like nudging going on, but it looks pretty cool. So if we look at this thing, I'll explain how to make this later on. It might snap to pieces with structural integrity turned on. We'll find out. Um, we're going to give it a bit of a launch. We need to get some stuff in a hot bar first that we need. So we're going to want timber. We're going to want rounded timber. We're going to want um, a rope drum, a turning thing, this, 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 um, we don't want that. Um, we want um, a catch block, and we're also going to want a large projectile just for now, um, but not the projectile thrower. Okay, also rope, we need rope, character tools, rope. Um, I think the terrible rope now, I'll explain this in a minute, is for trebuchets, so that you can attach like a rock to trebuchets and then actually fire rather than just getting stuck. But we're not doing trebuchets this episode. I'm going to have a go at making one. It should be fun. Um, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to attach the rope from here to here. All right. Let's wind this thing up and hope it doesn't snap to pieces. Um, so to wind up these things, you need to hit T and it'll turn them. Obviously, T is, is turning the wrong way. So if it's turning the wrong way, you hit Shift here and it'll do it in reverse. Okay. So to be a little bit careful with this because um, if I if that touches the drum, it, it spazzes out. And I don't want to do that because it'll probably just break and just explode. Let's get a little bit... Oh, okay, that's as far as it goes. Because if, if I pulled it much further and it touched this, it just goes... And just and just breaks. Um, okay, so then we want to put a cannonball in it. Or a, a boulder, let's say. So currently it's like... If you put a boulder down... Let's just put it on a hill. I'll demonstrate. It's just going to no-clip into the hill. It's not going to roll. To make it have properties of gravity, you hit J. And then you can place it free roam and it'll just like fall. Alright, and it'll have... Pro oh god, it's rolling to... Okay, that should be fine. But yeah, so that's how we'll get it so there can actually be a projectile that can be thrown. So you can actually throw, like, logs and stuff if you want to, or whatever, but obviously a stone is going to be more effective. Um, let's try and balance this in my catapult that I've made. Uh, let's just try and... Oh, oh, that one, that one didn't work. Okay, well, it didn't break it. It's fine, that's lucky. Right, get a little bit closer. There we go, we got it in. Alright. So then, all we've got to do is hit the T on the rope drum. It should fire up against this wall, so let's get a good view. Right, ready? And fire! Boom! Oh, love. Look at that. Sweet. So it did make a little crack. Obviously, the more of these you have, the more it will do. And um, trebuchets are even more powerful, because obviously... But yeah, it's not too bad. It's like it's dented it a bit with the structure. It's quite a thick wall, so you know, it's cracked that. Let's give it wind up one more time, and I'll show you how to make this bad boy. Or I'll at least try and show you how to make one uh, by going through the steps I went through and just showing you how to do it. Um, it's pretty simple, it's just a little bit finickety. So let's actually move this forward a bit, alright? So we get a little bit closer to the castle. Um, mine isn't opt optimally designed. Just nudge it a bit. Oh, there we go. This is probably actually going to completely miss now, but uh, we've moved it closer. 
Um, right, wind this back up with Shift T. Just gotta be careful I don't pull it too close to the thing. Oh, a little. Oh, oh, you yeah, yet? Yeah. Well, that's a goner now. Wait, no, it's not a goner, but I just gotta do this. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work too well. Oh no, it fixed itself. It hasn't done that before. Well, it's at an angle. Let's see if we can fire it off like this. Let's see if we can move, roll it back a little bit further. Oh no, it did it again. Oh god, stop, stop it. Catap ah, okay. Right, let's try it again. Oh, well, okay, I probably should I'll just leave it. Oh, no, there we go, perfect, perfect. Right, so we just need to J this again, and we'll balance it. It is, oh god, it's a little bit precarious. Um, so yeah, it is obviously early alpha, so some things are a bit buggy. Uh, didn't, didn't, no, <laughs> they're just bouncing off everywhere. Come on. Oh, nearly. Uh, there's a thing, there's a bit too much play in it. Right, let's just disconnect this rope. Oh, there we go. Um... Yeah, we've screwed this up. Well, you get the gist of how it works, right? Let's we'll, we'll we'll put we can just spawn another one in a minute and try and attack the castle from somewhere else. It did do quite a lot of damage when I put it up here and hit hit that wall. Like half the tower crumbled away. Anyway, to make this thing, let's just go to my blueprints and show you what I do. So the first thing I had to do was, um, I think I'm gonna delete the prop. But basically, to make a frame in midair is kind of awkward because to put these wheels on. Well, actually, no, actually no, I was doing it kind of weird. So what you can do. Actually, no, you kind of have to do do it like this. So, what you need to do is get the logs, okay, and you can rotate this around with the Q, E, and R keys, all right, and scroll to make them different lengths, okay. Um, I'll, and I've hit it in J mode on that. So, hit J mode, basically, J locks it to the grid and makes it, like, bound by gravity or not. So, you see here, it's, like, locked to the grid. If I hit J, it's sort of floating around the grid. But if I drop it, it'll just fall, all right. But then, even in the grid mode, it will fall as well. So, for example... If I put um, this upright and then put uh, this on top of it, if I hit this round like this, and then if I remove this block underneath, all right, with right click, that will also fall and roll for some because I think it's part of a ship. Regular blocks don't do this, but these kind of blocks do. These count as ships, um, as it is space engineers kind of. Anyway, so what what you want to do for the base platform is try and find something flattish. So let's just go over here. Um, this is the bit I found the biggest pain in the ass to get started. Actually trying to get the base platform where I could put wheels. So what I did was, I don't know if there's an easy way to do this, but I basically made a, um, a platform up in the air, right, with these pillars, and just built off of this. You, what you need to do is, so this won't, as long as you don't, um, like, delete this bot, or delete anything, it should be fine. So when you delete things, for some reason, it has a physical effect on it, and it makes everything break. So I just built the frame up like this. You can just have it on one post, I'm pretty sure, anyway. So, it won't unbalanced or anything because it's attached to the ground so you can just build up your whole frame up in this up in the air like this okay so just make it however big you want to be i think it needs to be a certain amount of size to get the torsion spring in it to, for the catapult to work but let's just put this on either end okay so that's plenty wide enough and then rotate this around um using the right keys there we go and just you know just make a basic frame uh, and this is the easiest way to do it i found so like this like this Okay, and then you also want to put the wheels and stuff on it in a second, so let's just increase this, oh, just make it, make it the same size all the way around, and uh, rotate this, this is very square, but it's just an example of how to make the frame, okay, um, I'm not doing this properly, I'm just going to use my old templates, so this is just to show you how to build it, oh crap. So, um, if you were, you can just scroll wheel to and change the length of these, okay? So, um, I can change the length, and obviously, yes, it's the wrong way up, so let's rotate it like this. There we go. Lovely, we've got a frame, okay? You see it's, like, balanced just on that one block. If I remove that, it would fall, so you just need to be careful. That. But it's just easier to put wheels on and stuff when it's off the ground. It's so difficult to do it above the ground. So, what you want to do is you want to put um, this block number seven on, which is a um, a catch lock. Not, it's not a catch lock, it's a... Um, What's it called? I can't remember what it's called now. Let's have a look. Uh, all blocks. It's called a... Um, cat oh, it's a catch block. And there's a, a lock catch block. I'm not sure what these are for yet, but I'm sure I'll find out. And there's rotors and stuff that I haven't fiddled around with yet. I think that's for other things. Um, yeah, so you, these catch blocks basically allow a block to rotate within it. It's basically just an axis, an axle kind of thing. Um, pretty simple stuff. So you can put this on wherever. Chuck some wheels on it. Let's just put these down. It'd be nice if there was a mirrored mode at some point, but it's obviously 
early days, so I'm sure they'll add that in, because there is a mirrored mode in Space Engineers, I know that. Um, let's go down. Ooh. And there we go. Well, now we need to put the wheels on, so number five. So we can just rotate these around again as well, and make these ch chuck on. Lovely jubbly. Okay. And then, if you want to save this as a blueprint, which you want to do now, in fact, you should be able to now right-click this, get rid of this pillar here, and it should have a nice framework to start off from. There you go. If you were just building directly on the ground, you wouldn't need to worry about doing this, because what we want that catapult to have wheels so we can move it about. It's just, it's just handy. So to save this as a blueprint, um, I don't need to have already got a frame, but you hit Control b and it will save into your blueprints here, on the right-hand side. And to, to load up a blueprint, um, it's simply as you click on it, you click OK and you click Control V in game to paste it in, like Control C, Control V. So I could just, if I wanted, just um, I haven't actually saved this, but I can go Control C and just duplicate it anywhere, as you can see. I can hit J key to like rotate it around in the air, which is kind of cool, like this. Whoa! But yeah, we don't want to do that, so let's get rid of that. Um, so we've got a frame here. We don't actually need this, but this is just demonstrating how you build the first bit. Okay, so let's paste on um, my old frame. So let's get into my blueprints. And I have, uh, here it is, I think that was my one, yeah. Um, is there any stage, ah, here we go, this is what I want to look at. This is stage, uh, a, a later stage, so let's just put it on and explain what it is. Control V to paste it into the world. Um, and uh, hit J so I can just drop it down, I think. There we go, lovely. Alright, so what you can see here I've done is I've added a torsion spring, okay. So this is here in the inventory, a torsion rope spring. So what you could do is this is, when it gets wound back, it holds tension in it, okay? Pretty simple stuff. Um, so you can, it basically just spring, it's just a spring system. Um, and I've just mounted this on here, so it's about, I think it's 12 blocks wide. And by a block, I mean, this is one block, that's two blocks, that's three blocks. So it's 12 of those wide. Um, why is that kind of weird? Oh, there we go. 12 blocks wide, okay? And what you want to do is, I built this a bit weird when I did it, but um, you, you want to uh, increase the end of this thing with like wooden logs um, for the front of the catapult. And obviously this stopper block here is so that when the uh, catapult fires, it doesn't just fire the rock straight into the ground. If anything, I made this um, stopper block too far forward, it should probably be right up against it so that it um, actually stops the catapult from smashing straight into it. So that is the thing you need to attach the catapult head to, and you can make it as long as you want. Um, you can get, have trial and error of that and see what you come up with. Okay, and then the next stage um, was uh, pretty much... Oh, this this bit, okay. So, this one, okay. Control V, there we go. And now we've got a slightly different... So you see I've added in some bits. Um, so let's just uh, rotate this around. Oh, God. Nope, not like that. Nope, I wanted to rotate... Is it not going to rotate? Oh, fine, it's not going to rotate that way. Anyway... Let's just dump this here. It doesn't really matter too much. There we go. Oh, God. Yeah, I dropped that too. Yeah, there is physics. It, it, it did just break there. Um, let's get another one in. <laughs> it's, no, it's no worries. I dropped it a little bit too high. It is only made out of flimsy wood. There we go. That time it didn't break. Oof, that was kind of close. So you can see what I've done here is I've added in a, um, a coil rope. Okay, not coil rope. Um... A rope drum even. So this is using the catch blocks again, all right, which I use for the wheels, except this time I've used a rounded bit of wood to centralize it into this. So you've got a rounded bit of wood on each end and the rope drum attached to that. So the rope drum on its own is just this. And you can attach, I think you can attach square blocks to it as well, but I use it rounded for some reason, um, just because I thought it looked nicer. Um, and that is how you get those two bits on, okay? And I obviously added in like a bit of structural strength here so that the catapult didn't just tear itself to pieces. Um, it's quite a simple design. So you've got this. Then with the with this bit, you want to... I'll, I'll carry on building from this point onwards with this catapult and make a new dupe. So you want to put on these um, turning wheel crosses. You can put one on... You only need one, but you can put one on each end if you want to. And this allows you to turn this object. So you hold T to turn, shift T to turn it the other way. Simple as that. Alright, pretty simple, right? Um, so what I did was got this and made it a little bit longer, okay, which I'll do now. Because I sort of screwed up where I was going to put this thing. So it's made it a little bit longer. Then I got myself um, one of these, this is important, a rope ending, okay? So let's get rid of the projectile for now. And the rope ending, if you scroll, you use this two, there's two types. 
I'm not sure what the longer type is for. I guess it just looks different, so you can attach the rope to it. Oh, I think I know what this is for. This is for the trebuchet, I'm imagining. So, I, I think it's a new one. So, basically, you, you, you hook the rope over the end, okay? And then, at, once it gets to a certain point, it will fling off so that it won't stay attached, which I think is the whole point of the trebuchet. So, uh, that might be one of the updates, um, which I'm not aware of yet because I haven't been following up this completely. But, I'll find out when I make a trebuchet. So, you, you want to attach that there and, and then get your rope equipped, okay? Which can be found on the character tools, basic rope, simple as that. Um, and you want to hit t when it, when you get this like icon up, it means you can attach things to it. So you can hit T on this and T on this, okay? And then um, shift T on this to wind it back a little bit because I did mine wrong, okay? There we go. And then just increase the length of your uh, beam here, like this. That should be long enough. And I'm actually gonna increase the thickness of this for a second. Um, just so that it stops like sooner, and that is very ugly, but who cares? Let's just balance it out on this side. There we go. Sweet, so that'll do. Um, so now if we release it with T, it'll be like that. Awesome. Um, and then we can put the catapult head on it, which is uh, pretty simple to find. Um, so we'll rotate this around. There we go, and then we can move this rope bit up to the top. Um, so let's actually get this and remove this with right click and put it at the top instead, so you get more tension. And then all we gotta do is attach this. This is probably actually better than old ones. So I might just save this one in a second. So we hit um, eight for the rope, uh, not eight, nine for the rope. Even T on the here, T on the bit up here. Wind it up with Shift T. And what I actually might make is a little stopper here so that that doesn't hit the uh, rope drum again. Because it does cause a bit of problem. Or I can make the thing longer. Um, which might be better, but I don't know. And then we can put rocks in it and fire it. So this is pretty good, actually, to me. Um, what I actually might make here is quickly is a little stopper so that um, you'll see. So let's put this in here. And let's just balance it up. Alright, so it's a little stopper, so it can't go any further back than that. Okay, so it'll stop it crushing it. So now if I hit Shift T, I can probably wind it back all the way. There we go. It can't actually go any further. There we go. So I like that. Okay, that's good. So I've made myself. I've improved my design already. So Control B to save my blueprint, and there we go. It's saved. Um, uh, where is it? Which one is it? It's all got random names. This one. So let's actually name this one. Um, details. Uh, rename. Catapult 1. That Catapult 1.1 even. Catapult 1.1 saved. Awesome. Okay. And there we go. So I can just load this in whenever now. And let's try this on the castle again. I'm excited. Right. So let's bring it over here. Um, that old one's in a bit of a state. Actually, let's just put it up here. Let's put it up here. So we should be able to control V it in. There we go. Um, and we'll paste it here. And it, the rope doesn't stay attached straight away. But that's fine. So let's get the rope back on. T. T. Lovely. Wind it back. Oh, I bounced off it a bit there. Wind it back. Shift T. Oh. Well, I somehow managed to... Did it just... Twist off. Oh, well, winding up too much has made it twist. It's fine. It'll, it's going to shoot at an angle. Um, maybe I should have made that a little bit wider. That's a design. I didn't really do that, but never mind. We can fix that in a second. Um, then we want to get in our projectile. We don't, don't want the throw. We want the actual projectile. Okay. So let's put this down and make it hit J again to make sure it's um, like balanced. Put this in it. Oh, well, that didn't work. Put this in it. There we go. Oh yeah, you ready for this? Kapow! Whoa, that went far. And it crashed down straight in the middle of the thing. That went quite a long way. I was not anticipating it going that far. I'm impressed with that. Right, we need to we need to quickly tinker this up a little bit. So we want to put um, blocks here as well. Like that. Just so it doesn't square off again. There we go, when I wind up too much. Right, we'll nudge it to the left a bit and try and hit something, okay? We'll nudge it this way a bit. 
Come on. Ah. That should be good. A little bit. Oh. Perfect. That looks about right. It's going to hit the tower, doesn't it? Maybe a little bit more so it will hit the tower and see how much damage we can do. There should be a better way to move this, but I'm, I'm assuming they're adding like motors and stuff in at some point. Well, not, not motors, but like some kind of powering mechanisms. Is this not... Oh, it's... Wait, was it because it wasn't... Oh, it wasn't centered. That's why it went off. <laughs> it wasn't even centered. Wow. I, I just... Really? Whoops. So let's actually get rid of that. It's not even in this... Let's get rid of these bits. That was, that was my mistake. Oh, okay. I see what I did wrong. See? Sometimes you don't even notice. Right, that'll be fine. Um, so let's get the rope back. Nine. Hit T on here. Hit T on here. Reel this bitch in. Right. Shift T. So we should just reel it back without worrying now. There we go. It stops at the right point. We can also, I should point out on the on the, the projectile, if you scroll wheel, you can make it a smaller one. Okay? Um, if you want to have like a multi-shot one or a, I, I don't know. So you can actually use a smaller projectile. So let's just hit J. Drop this in here. Lovely. Ready to fire? I think we're ready. And... Go! Oh! That was a hit. Right, we need to twist it a bit to the left. That hit hit it though. Right, so we need to push it back this way a little bit. Well, I'm sure they'll add in more things that can do more damage and have more tension and stuff in future. Um, but for now, this is pr it's pretty cool that you can make this kind of stuff. To hit two and this. Some of the designs people have come up with are insane. I'll have to show them off at some point. There we go. Let's wind this back up again. Is that looking right? That's looking lined up. Let's nudge it a little bit more. There we go. Um, right, shift here again. Get this thing up and running. Alright. Oh. 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 There's <laughs> cat. There's ball. Oh, God. Very hard to load this. Right, there we go. Okay. We're ready again. And. Boom! And somehow it went even further. Wow. It How did it go even. Never mind. Well, you get the idea. Um, so this has been Catapults. I hope you guys have enjoyed um, and you've learned a little thing about this. Um, please don't forget to like the video. And next time I shall be making a trebuchet, amongst other things. There's also survival and stuff. I'm going to go over some of the updates and see what kind of cool stuff I can make. Look at this mess back here of all this broken. Yeah. But anyway, thank you and catch you next time. Goodbye.